So I've just spent the past 10 or 15 minutes giving myself a overview of Wix Editor X in comparison to Squarespace's new Fluid Engine. Um, and so I'm going to share with you what I've just learned for myself. Uh, this is my first time really digging into Editor X. I think I might have played with it a couple years ago when it first dropped. Um, and so I, I just got to know it. I'm not an expert and I'm, I'm also not a designer, so I'm probably not the best to make use of it. But, um, you know, I'm sharing this from the perspective of someone who has been using Squarespace exclusively for almost 10 years to make websites. Um, I've been curious about this and because uh, Fluid Engine is uh, a little bit more of a comparable uh, experience to Wix, I thought this would be a good opportunity to compare the two. So, like I said, let me show you really quickly what I have learned and observed here. So here we are in Squarespace. I uh, loaded up a, a template. I think this is called the auto template. And um, yeah, I can add some blocks. Or here we are. I can add some blocks. I can now drag them and overlap stuff. And, uh, you know, in that regard, it's cool. I'm happy with that. Um, I can't drag a block from one section to the next. And um, when I go from desktop to mobile, um, I have to account for, you know, the, the change in layout there and design my, my mobile by itself. Um, and then for tablet, as of July 21st, 2022, there's no way for me to, to really customize that tablet view. So that's this is Fluid Engine in a nutshell. Um, I have another video where I compare Fluid Engine to the previous classic editor, uh, which is a lot more limited and restrictive. Um, but my first impression when I, I saw Fluid Engine was, well, why was Squarespace not like this all along? Now let's jump over to Editor X and let's take a look at some of these comparisons here. So um, the first thing you notice is that everything is in front of me, right? My, my, my menu up top here, I've got a side menu here where I can check out pages or layers or um, site elements. Um, and so everything is just kind of here at my disposal. And then moving across this demo template that I loaded up, um, I thought it was cool that I could do whatever I want in the header, right? Omari does his thing. Um, I can manage the page menu here, drag things about. And so this this whole kind of experience I, I thought was, was rather intuitive, um, being able to just kind of go through everything um, without opening up a ton of menus to find out where everything is, I found was also pretty intuitive. Uh, and then, right, the, the whole fluid, mo what you see is what you get experience. Now, I, I found, I thought this was a, a more sophisticated uh, version of what Squarespace is currently offering with a fluid engine for a couple of reasons. One, um, there's there's more guidelines, right? So, I see these pink guidelines let me know where I'm I'm more balanced or whether I'm trying to align with something else. It's going to clue me in. And, you know, that's something I'm familiar with, with Photoshop or even just playing around in Canva. Um, I can also drag these elements across sections, uh, which I can't do with um, I can't do with Squarespace at the moment. And let's see how to make this text um, in front of the uh, this image here behind it. So how do I put this image behind? Okay, here we go. So arrange and center back. And then if I were to do the same thing with the text, all right, cool. So this little uh, three dot more actions opens up all the actions. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's reminiscent of how you're used to using most software tools.
so um, I didn't go through a, a, a complete uh, orientation of Wix here, but let's just do a quick one, right? So this thing I found is really cool, Site Checker, this tool. And what Site Checker does is it sees if there are any issues to fix. Let me go on the page. And so when I saw this, I thought, wow, that's that's dope, right? So it checks all the breakpoints, lets you know if there are any issues, which there were. There were some issues with overflowing content. Um, I think that's a dope little tool to have. Um, let's go to our mobile view and see what editing this is like. On Squarespace, I can, like I showed you, I can move things around. So similarly, I can edit this mobile experience by itself. Now, what happens if on a tablet I go like this and then yeah, I'm 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 here trying to trying to break it. <laughs> all right, but but you know, you can see it's fluid across all breakpoints and it's easy to to check out check what that looks like. So Overall, right now, remember, I am not making websites for clients every day. Um, I haven't made a website for a client in almost four years outside of my family. But if I was, <laughs> um, then uh, I would probably be messing with this Editor X. Um, there are some some tools in here as well, like, for example, libraries. So if I wanted to create uh, a set of assets brand assets that I could use uh, across any site I could do that I can also duplicate the site transfer it um, there's some more there's a dashboard okay so this dashboard I haven't really explored it yet but here's where you can manage your, your SEO functions analytics automations um, a ton of stuff right so very robust in my opinion um, and then jumping back over to to Squarespace um, and going into our default thing here um, in comparison uh, Squarespace feels um, more like a uh, more like a novel tool right and so it's interesting for me because I've been using it for such a long time I've been happy I'm sat I'm still satisfied with it it's um, but I think the the novel nature of just how it's the the UI is designed, um, it cr it's an experience all by itself, right? Whereas Editor X is less novel in its approach; it's more straight up, right? Um, but I think that straight upness is what makes it, in my opinion, much more intuitive, and um, I think. Uh, Squarespace's uniqueness is what you know takes away from that intuitive element so that's my take um, curious to know what you think uh, I was actually surprised at how how much I enjoyed playing around with editor X um, I actually felt that the feeling was like I feel empowered that I could actually um, you know create something uh, like that might be a little complex but not at the same time I don't know. Try it out for yourself. Put a link below where you can try out Wix or Squarespace. And uh, happy to know what you, what you think about these two platforms. Now, it might be worth also doing a comparison of just regular Wix. I don't know exactly what the difference is between Editor X and regular Wix. I just know that Editor X was their more advanced builder. So I'll try out regular Wix. And then I'll see how that compares as well. All right, peace.